Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a log equation or a logarithmic equation. We have log x with base 3 and log 2x with base 2. So one of the things that makes this problem interesting is different bases. When you have the same base, these kind of problems are fairly easy to solve. Suppose you had something like log x with base 3 equals log 2x minus 5 with base 3. Then you can easily say that since the bases are equal, we can safely say that x is equal to 2x minus 5. And from here, we get x equals 5. And obviously, x equals 5 satisfies this equation. You can check the domain. But the bases are different. So what are we going to do? I'll be presenting two methods. And the first method is kind of nice because it uses a very nice property. And then... Actually, not necessarily a property, but it uses the definition, the definition of logarithm. So if you're new to logarithms, this is going to be helpful. And it also uses exponentials. The second method is a little different, and now we're going to compare our answers at the end. Okay? So let's get to work. First method. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and set both of these equal to the same thing, like something log x with base 3 and log 2x with base 2. Suppose they're both equal to t. Since they're equal, they're equal to the same thing, right? Now, from here, we get two equations, which is what is nice about substitution. This is t, so I get log x with base 3 equals t. And by using definition, what do I mean by definition? This is the base, that is the exponent, and this is the result. Make sense? That's how logs work. Pretty easy. Okay, so that means... 3 to the power t equals x. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other expression or equation. Log 2x equals t. And then from here, we get the same thing or something similar. This is the base. That's the exponent. And I have to come back for the answer. So it's kind of like this. Start at the base, go across, and then come back for the answer. So kind of like 2 to the power 2 equals 2x. How do I reconcile these equations? Wow, big words. So, I mean, in other words... How do I solve it as a system? One of them is x, the other one is 2x. So double the first equation, 2 times 3t is equal to 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power t. Awesome. We got rid of x because we need to solve for t, and it's easier, trust me. Now, to solve for t, this is an exponential equation. Remember, I told you we were going to go with substitution, and then from there we're going to get an exponential. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power t. That gives us 2 to the t divided by 3 to the t equals 2, since 2 is on the left and 2 to the t is on the right. I guess I switched places, okay? And then these two have a common exponent, so I can kind of take it out like this. And then at this point, since you have an exponential and the exponent is a variable, you can log both sides. Logs are going to be very helpful. Again, one more time. And... I like to use the natural log, which is ln. doesn't matter, no big deal. You can pretty much use anything. But if we use ln for every single method we do, then it's easier to compare. That's why I'm going to stick to ln. So ln is the natural log, which is base e. So I'm going to ln this, and I'm going to ln that. Okay? If you want, you can use parentheses, no big deal. Bring the t to the front, and then you get the following. Okay? What am I going to do with this? Divide both sides by ln 2 thirds because you want to get t. And ln 2 thirds from quotient property can be written as ln 2 minus ln 3. So whenever you have the quotient or the ln of a quotient, that can be written as the difference of the uh, lns. Did that make sense? Hopefully it did. Now, this is my t value. Be careful because you're not solving for t, you're solving for coffee. I mean, not coffee, you're solving for x. What is the relationship though, right? Well, 3 to the power t is equal to x. Great, let's go ahead and write it down. 3 to the t equals x. And I have t, so I can just plug it in. From here, x equals 3 to the power ln2 divided by ln2 minus ln3. Uh-oh, ln2 minus ln3, by the way, is a negative quantity. Therefore, ln2 divided by that is going to be negative. But 3 to the power negative something is not negative. It just means it's a small number. Kind of like a fraction, sort of. Like 1 tenth, right? It's 10 to the power negative 1. Awesome. So this is the x value. 
and we found it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method because after the second method, we need to look at the graph. All right. Now, the second method uses a property called COB or COB. What does that mean? It means change of base. Change of base is a very helpful formula. If you have something like log, let's say, uh, I don't know, B with uh, base A, and I want to write it in a different log like base X, I can kind of like put the B here because it's on top and put the A here. You see, A goes here, B goes here, and we're all good. That's called change of base. And by the way, if you don't want to use any base X, you can use t base 10, which is just log, or you can use LN, which is base E. You see, it's very easy to transition from one to the other, and so this is kind of like another identity, which is pretty interesting, right? Anyways, so let's see if we can find the same answer using the second method. How do we apply the second method to our problem, right? Here's how. You have different bases, right? So change of base would actually be perfect for this problem. And let's go ahead and change the base to Euler's number, right? And that will be ln. So how do we write it? ln x over ln 3 equals ln 2x. Let's put 2x in parentheses to avoid confusion. Divide by ln 2. You get the idea? You put this on top and you put this at the bottom. Cool. But how do we solve for x from here? That's going to be a little intricate, right? Well, here's the idea. Cross multiply ln x times ln 2 equals ln 3 times ln 2x. So at this point, you might be tempted to put the ln 2x and ln x together, even come up with something like this. I know some people like to do that. Use the change of base backwards, and this is going to be log 2x with base x. You don't really need to get into any of that. There's an easy way to do it, which uses the product property. Yay! Quotient property and product property are actually awesome. So if you have the log of a product, then you can kind of write it as the sum of the two logs. Make sense? And then we can use the awesome distributive property because we do need to use it. And then we're going to put the ln x's together. So this one and this one. Subtract ln x and take it out. You're going to get ln 2 minus ln 3. Do you see what I see? ln 3 times ln 2. Uh-oh, this is not good because we didn't have that before. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Now we're going to divide, obviously. And that's going to give us something similar. But this is an ln x, remember. To get x, you're going to do e to the power ln x. So x is going to be e to the power ln 3 times ln 2 divided by ln 2 minus ln 3. Such an interesting number with lots of lns, right? But here's the thing. Our first answer was 3 to the power something, right? Let's go ahead and copy that here. 3 to the power ln 2 over ln 2 minus ln 3. How are they equal? Well, they are. If you take a look at it carefully, you can actually put this e to the power ln 3 inside. And then, guess what that gives you? e to the power ln 3, e to the ln x is x. So e to the ln 3 is 3. And you get the exact same answer. Or, of course, you're supposed to get the same answer. But sometimes the manipulations are complicated. All right? So that's the x value. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick, and we'll finish up. So these two functions are both logarithmic functions, but one of them grows faster. But before they do, they just intersect at a single point, which is the x value. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.